Okay, I'm here with uh, Jeremy Alibaugh, soon to uh, depart, director of the Springfield Soccer Club. Well, Jeremy, you've been here five, six years now, your second tour of duty. Correct. Let's, let's talk about what's occurred over the last six years. Talk to me about uh, some of the things you're proudest of. Yeah, I think when you talk about the club, you know, there's a, a handful of things that come to mind. You know, the first one is, uh, you know, that very first year back in 2005, I believe it was, um, we put a number of kids off to the college, that first class, so to speak. You know, before those guys went off to college, it was kind of, well, if I'm not going to play Division I, uh, what's the use of playing college soccer? And from that class, we had Pat Carver, Brian Fishbeck, Michael Gao, Josh Flores, Katie Brooks, uh, Nick Pfeiffer, Justin Alford. We had a number of kids that went on to have, you know, great college soccer careers from Division I. Uh, you know, Division Two, Division Three, NAI, and all Americans, and they really set the tone for the future of uh, you know the college opportunities that our kids are going to have. The uh, so talking, you talked about the first class there and the 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 uh, what they established. What else? I think other things with the club is uh, you know the fulfillment of a dream of having our own facility. You know, having our own offices, our own indoor training facility, a weight room, a place where our kids could uh, you know call home. You know, during the winter months and throughout other times of the year, it's uh, you know no one else has anything like this, and it's uh, you know been quite the project for our for our kids and you know our, our coaches and our parents. And you know the big thing that it allows us to do is train all the time. Weather doesn't bother us, and we have a home. When kids come in here, they feel like they belong to something. They're not borrowing someone's gym or someone else's field. This is their home, and you know they've built it. And uh, you know that's something that we're you know real real proud of that way. Other things that come to mind would be the community involvement of the club, having a successful banquet with over 400 families in attendance, uh, guest speakers from you know Dan Donegan, the former St. Louis University coach, to Matt Caution and Jack Jewsbury, professional players with ties to the area. Uh, our 24-hour game, which for the last three years, you know, has put you know well over you know $45,000 into the community, into some charities that we've worked with there, and the involvement of our kids and, and coaches and, and parents with that game has been tremendous. Uh, the you know co-hosting the 24-hour game with SGF Soccer, or not the 24-hour game, the All-Star <laughs> game with SGF Soccer, uh, which is, you established and yeah. invited me to participate yeah, it's in been, later. Uh, you know, we got some you know high school coaches that you know threw the idea at us, and we ran with it. And I think it's been a good event for the boys, and now we've expanded to the girls' side the last couple of years. So you know, those are things that come to mind on the field. You know, success uh, by the teams that have done well outside of the region. You know, we've been able to. You know, go to some pretty big events, compete with some bigger cities, and have success in the Midwest Regional League State Cup. We're always in the semifinals and finals, um, and we've had you know a team that's uh, been able to win it twice, get to regionals three times, and a two-time semifinalist. So on the field, those are the easy things to to remember. You know, some of the off-the-field stuff has taken a little bit more time to build, and uh, you know, but it's been a good run. That that it has. It was your second trip here, and it's. Uh because you also took some time off to work up there for the Chicago Magic. Do you think you'll come back? <laughs> uh, I, I think my career has taken me on uh, in a, to a different path. You know, the opportunity to go to St. Louis Scott Gallagher Metro and, and work in the U.S. Development Academy program is something I've been looking at pretty hard the last couple of years. And finally, it just became an opportunity to, you know, to be involved on a daily basis with the highest level of players. and. You know, it's something that uh, it's going to be hard to, you know, to go away from that. Maybe some opportunities come, you know, otherwise, but we'll see.